What's going on guys, today we're going to be starting a brand new series on this channel and this is TED, which is the new prequel series to the TED movies. I absolutely love both the TED movies. I saw them when they actually first came out. I was quite young when they came out, but I saw them anyways and I loved them. I mean, I've always been a big fan of Family Guy and really anything made by Seth MacFarlane. So I was really excited for this TED prequel series just based on the fact that it's probably going to be same sort of humor, the same type of, type of comedy, and even just beyond that, it's, he's just a fun character to watch. I think Ted's very interesting. Obviously not having Mark Wahlberg here, you know, it, it's not gonna be the exact same as the movies, but hopefully the dynamic between this new version of, his name was Johnny, right? Yeah, it was Johnny. I, I haven't watched the movies in a while, but I, I love them, I just haven't watched them in a while. Um, but seeing a young version of him with Ted, it's just gonna be really interesting. So I can't wait to check this out. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. I believe there's seven episodes of this series and they all released on the same day, so I guess we're just gonna have to watch this as soon as we possibly can. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link. That will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Yeah, so that girl there, she was in a, the Punisher, right? Punisher season two. Dude, I love the music because it's got that like Family Guy feel. Like Seth MacFarlane uses the exact same music for all his things. I feel like. Ah, fuck, it's not working. Here, let me try something. You gotta blow in it. That's what I'm doing. No, no, you gotta like really blowing it here. Wow, you were gonna make some guy very happy one day. <laughs> hey! All right, Mushroom Kingdom. Are Mario and Luigi supposed to be midgets? They're wicked short. Like, is it part of their character? That that's what I thought, but I don't know. Seriously? What? Little people. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Are they supposed to be midgets? <laughs> you don't say midget. You say little people. Midget is rude. Why is it rude? I mean, how would you like it if you were a little person and someone called you that? Well, I mean, technically. <laughs> he is, yeah. Why not? You're a teddy bear. So what? Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I am a midget, and I will thank you <laughs> not to tell our community how to use our word. Oh, it's all, it's already funny. It's already so funny. I'm, I'm expecting this to be hilarious, and I, I can't wait. We got a bet going, just one time. What's the bet? Oh, that Ted can get mom to swear. Oh, wow, so fucking adult. Hey, we're at dinner. Just say shit. I love the I love the Boston accents. Say Polak. Ted, really? It's not a race. You can say it. Yeah, it's just a bunch of guys. Okay, just eat your supper, fellas. Thank you. Wait, you're not wearing pants. Where'd you get this? Now, don't you worry about where I'm keeping stuff. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna laugh too much. This is, this is like this is this is great. What happened to the car, Dad? Whole rear fender got smashed. Who hit it? I didn't see, but I was parked outside the Hong Kong buffet. So, <laughs> do the math. I'm sorry. And it's a bullshit stereotype. Tell that to my car. <laughs> this whole household is so goddamn backward. Ted has used two derogatory terms this afternoon, and then there you go, <laughs> dropping it off with that ignorant comment. I said midget. What was the other one? <laughs> my house with my family, eating our food and drinking oh. our milk. Tough shit if you don't like it. That's just, that's great. I'm so glad you don't count me as a member of the family, Uncle Maddie. Maybe Polak? No, couldn't be that. That one's fine. <laughs> couldn't be that one. <laughs> Tell her you're sorry. Of course he won't, because if he did, he'd be admitting I'm right, which would also be admitting he is a classic Boston racist. I'm not a racist. My favorite movie is Rocky. What does that make you not racist? Uh, Apollo Creed is in the movie. So? So he's a black guy who wins against a white guy. Oh my God. In fairness, Blair, you can be racist too. No, I'm not. Do you remember when you were a little girl? You used to cut the hair off your Barbies? You used to cut the black Barbie's hair off first to see how it looked. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? See, you're a little racist too. Please. Wow, that is weirdly so much more damning than anything else today. <laughs> what, what was the black Barbie's name? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, oh my god, oh, she gets Oh it. yeah. I still love both Barbies equally. And separately? Dude, the fucking CGI on Ted looks amazing. It's no, insanely guys. good. There is a complete lack of education in this family. That's not true. I go to school. I'm taking a pottery class. What about Ted? He's never had a day of education in his life, and it shows using words like Pollock. Oh, what's Pollock? <laughs> I guard the house when you guys are out. <laughs> you do not. If somebody broke in, what would you do? I, I would tell him all the good stuff's in the backyard, and then I'd lock the door behind him. <laughs> this is pointless. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm already like so impressed with this. It's, it's, it's just, I don't know, good dialogue. Oh God. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes! Ah! Oh my God! 
I want to tell somebody. It's okay. What's fun? What's fun? What's fun? What's fun? Oh, let's see if we can find where Maddie hides his porn. <laughs> Jesus, he's got nothing. Twenty-five years of marriage and no porn. I put a bullet in my head. <laughs> Talk about the right to bear oh, arms. Oh, shit. <laughs> bear arms, bear and arms, right? <laughs> oh, I know what to do with this. <laughs> Dude, it, this shit looks great, though. Like, I gotta say. Oh, awesome. What did he shoot? What the hell was that? Oh, it's okay, Mrs. Fetchko. I'm just doing a science experiment. <laughs> Is that a gun? That's one function of it, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. The Russian boxer has all this technology, right? But but Rocky's way up in the mountains. He's still talking about Rocky? So it's it's wicked uneven cuz the Russians have machines for like every part of Drago's body. I mean Rocky 4 is is an incredible movie, so I'll give him that. What the fuck? <laughs> Did he call up? <laughs> hey Blair. What the fuck is this? Oh, uh this is cupcake, peaches and beef stroganoff. <laughs> TV. Oh, I accidentally shot it. You shot oh it? Oh my god. This is the kind of shit that wouldn't happen if he was in school. Wait, what? You're going to school. Wait, hang on. That is a serious overreaction. Oh, you're going to school and you're gonna grow a fucking brain. I think brains are sexy. Shut up, beef. <laughs> oh, I love this already. I love it. I gotta lug these things around all day? Yeah, pretty much. We look See, like suicide hard to... bombers having second thoughts. <laughs> Oh, Let me man. ask you something. You ever get self conscious being so... the only white guy at your school? Only white guy? Oh, he was he was making a joke. Okay. <laughs> you, you know what? I'm gonna get expelled. For what? I don't know yet. I'll come up with something. Like CGI is hard to pull off in daylight to look this. It looks so good though. Like it's you know it's impressive. There she is. Holy shit! Who is that? Bethany's sister. She goes to Emerson, hottest chick on the planet. What's her name? Sheila. What? No. Yep. Sheila? Uh-huh. What the fuck kind of malevolent god would do that? <laughs> Think fast, Bennett. Oh, god. Damn. You're bringing your dolls to school? Hey, fuck you, Clive. Oh, god, you motherfucker. Who the hell is this guy? This is Clive. He must be going full gay Ted's gonna huh? fuck them up. You know, I don't want to speculate on who's gay, but didn't you just touch his penis twice? <laughs> Very good. I think this guy's lost 40 hairs since class started. It's <laughs> weird, right? It's like they're not falling out, they're jumping out. <laughs> Can you complete this verse? She walks in beauty like the night. Your wife is fucking other guys. <laughs> Damn. You think you're funny, but you know what? Joke's on you, smart guy, because my wife and I are having problems. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you. My wife had an affair last year. Damn, he's just, he's just going out and admitting this? My own son doesn't respect his father, so joke's on you, funny man. <laughs> Not really quite sure how the joke's on me. <laughs> Are you gonna get kicked out? This is like him trying to get fired from his job in, in the in Ted movie, and he just couldn't do it. <laughs> the guy liked him even more. I watched a lot of students stumble and drift through the system to come out on the other side without any real education. Some of them did what you're doing. Testing the boundaries, rebelling, hoping to get cut loose. Well, I'm not going to let the same thing happen here. I'm not going to suspend Damn. you or anything else. Yeah. We are going to make a successful student out of you. Are you sure I'm the right guy? There's a fat kid who likes to touch dicks. <laughs> Maybe I could just tell Maddie to go fuck himself. No way, dude. My dad's a sadist. I'll kick you out of the house. You'll starve. What the hell kind of fucked up wish makes it so your teddy bear comes to life, but he's still got to eat? <laughs> Ted's definitely gonna get with her or something. That was a joint. Oh shit. Teddy, that's your ticket out of here. You get caught with drugs in school, you're gone. It's like zero tolerance here. Hey, you ever smoked weed? No. Yeah, me neither. Really? I was afraid my fur would catch on fire. I got no flame <laughs> retardant. We know in the movies he's he's smoking a bunch, but yeah, I guess eventually he gets to it. I'm not going to talk to Sheila Borgwatt. Borgwatt, fucking God, it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Johnny, you're not asking her out. You're just asking her for drugs. If you don't come with me, I will tell her you masturbate to network television. <laughs> I will tell her you watch Full House so you can jerk off to Laurie Loughlin, but that you can't always predict how long the scene is, so half the time you ejaculate to an establishing shot. <laughs> oh, Laurie. Oh, Laurie. Oh, Lord. Oh, 
fuck, a tasteful duplex. Uh, <laughs> even funnier, like, that I grew up watching Full House a lot. <laughs> I didn't do that, though. No, chill out, chill out. You just, uh, wash your hands? Uh, yeah, I just... No, he's just sweaty. A while ago, not now. <laughs> I had diarrhea. Oh, bro. <laughs> Why would you say that? Hi, I'm Ted. I'm <laughs> Sheila. Oh, let's not ruin things. You know? Oh god. Teddy and I often partake of El Bowl. And the pot <coughs> inside it. Uh. It wasn't much diarrhea. Can we have drugs, please? <laughs> We're looking to get some weed. We thought maybe you could help us out. I get why you can't give a high school kid pot, but talking teddy bears are all good, right? We all take drugs. The fucking care bears are all meth addicts. <laughs> Look, I can't help you guys out, but if you want, I can hook you up with my connection. Oh, that would be wonderful. And and might I say, you are a very beautiful woman, Shelly. Sheila. Oh, God, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. This is my allowance for the month. If Dad asked where it went, we bought tickets to see Schindler's List. Oh, yeah, this is 1993. But yeah. what did we do with the rest? Uh, we were so moved that we donated it to Jew causes. That is so nice of us. <laughs> Maybe we should actually do that. What are you, fucking crazy? Get your head in the game. <laughs> I am here for the week. Oh, oh shit. Unfucking believable. The fuck do you want? Wait, so I can't say midget, but you can sell drugs? <laughs> Sarah and I grow it here in her apartment, and we're using the money to help pay for tuition. Ted, listen to me. You cannot tell Uncle Maddie and Aunt Suze, all right? They will kick me out of the fucking house. It's hard enough to pay for school. I can't afford to hire rent, too. Wait, Maddie charges you rent? Really? For that crappy room over the garage? Jesus, Anne Frank wouldn't be caught dead in that place. <laughs> I'm allowed to make that joke. Johnny and I donate to Jew causes. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to be the biggest star in the world and then nobody gives a shit about you? I'm friggin' Kirk Cameron. I gotta escape my demons, and it's either drugs or the church. Y you know what they do to guys my size? Oh, please don't make me suck a deacon's dick. <laughs> All just to get kicked out of school. You know, we smoke some and save some for the plan. Let's do this right. <laughs> Suit up. <laughs> oh, he's got the fucking poster <laughs> from Full House. <laughs> oh, God. I'd have a soda can. Oh, they got a low rider. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this version of Johnny though. It, it's it's pretty good. Younger version of him. The perfect steakum. It's right here. Just <laughs> just feel it. Ah. Oh. I can feel your love in this, man. I just want to say, you have found your haircut. But you think so? <laughs> you could ride this to seventy and you'd be fine. Tip of God should bring in a picture of you. Stop it. <laughs> Is there a fucking gas leak or something? <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing too much, man. Oh. I fucking knew it. Oh shit. Hi, Blair. You guys <laughs> are stoned. Look, Blair, Blair, it's a little more complicated. No, you than... fucking swore it was just for you. All right, okay. I didn't want to have to resort to this. I love you. Hey, <laughs> now you're not mad at me anymore. And fuck you. <laughs> I think if we all just take a couple of deep breaths here and just try to. <laughs> Oh my god, he almost ate shit. Where'd he go? How'd how he, did he get, get up, up there? there? Climb the drain pipe. Oh my god, your boy, he's on the roof! It's all right, Mrs. Fetchko. <laughs> I'll call the fire department. That's really not necessary. But your son, he's gonna fall! He's not. Yeah, there's a lot here you're not understanding, Mrs. Fetchko. Uh, <laughs> For God's sake, you've been listening to the news? Eisenhower says we all gotta stay inside. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna live up here from now on. That's insane. And if the weather's temperate by harvest season, I'll be able to- You know, I guess you could. Damn. Look, it was- You gave pot to a 16 year old. I mean, what the fuck were you thinking? Well, on the bright side, he loved it. Get rid of that weed or so help me God, you were going in the fucking dryer. Oh, big deal. I've been in dryers. In the dryer. Put you in a Maddie load. Okay, fuck, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be pretty stinky, I'm assuming. Just act normal. Right now, we're just two guys standing here having a conversation. Yeah. About what? I don't know. Um, what's the last movie you saw? 
uh, Alive. Which one's that? Oh, it's the one where uh, the rugby team crashes in the Andes in the 70s, and they ran out of food, so they had to eat each other. Damn, never seen it. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. Me neither, man. Plus, it's all dudes, so it's even worse. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you're eating guys. It's like double gross. Well, I mean, I, mean, I would think it would be objectionable across the board. <laughs> so if you were on a plane that crashed and Tom Hanks and Diane Keaton were on it too and they died and you survived, who would you eat first? Why wouldn't they have a seasoned flight crew on board instead of two actors? Oscar winning actors. Fair enough. Would you eat Tom Hanks or Diane Keaton? <laughs> I'd start with Diane and then if I didn't get rescued, I'd move on to Tom. Yeah, see, I think it's weird that you have an opinion one way or the other. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane's so good at having conversations about the littlest of things that last on for a minutes at a time, you know? Give it back, Clive. John Pennett gets high. <laughs> Maybe you're not as much of a pussy as I thought. That is a very important bag of weed. Now I know where to get a free buzz. God Shit. damn it, Clive, we need that weed. Oh. <laughs> he got fucking punted. You gotta kick me out of school. Ted, I already told you. I have weed. <laughs> not anymore. May I see it? Well, I, I lost it. <laughs> I would need to see the marijuana for there to be consequences. Look, we are telling you the truth. Yeah, I'm a bad seed. See, look. I love you. Drugs. What? I love drugs. <laughs> Clive has it, all right? Go check. Clive. Yeah. Now you're going to get Clive kicked out. He's the one in trouble. No, no, it's not his weed. He was just holding it for me. Like, obviously, this is a different situation, but I'm not allowed, like, if you were to bring weed to school just like regularly, like, you're another level of dumb. Like, how can you be that dumb? Like, I can't possibly think of something dumber than that. Jesus. What? There's a whole drawer here that's just cans of tuna. How sad. Eight? Just oh, cans of fuck tuna. Yeah. You found it? Jackpot. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Let's go in here. Here we go. Thank you. You know, it's the 90s, Aunt Suze. You can go without shaving your legs if you want. Oh. <laughs> when I was in high school, I used to forget sometimes and I'd get made fun of. One of the girls who used to make fun of me, her name was Margie Cronin. She used to call me Sasquatch. She was so mean to me in school. And then about a year ago, I saw in the flatware department at Bradley's, and I saw that she'd lost a hand. Damn. And I was so happy about it. Damn. Does it make me a terrible person? I don't think so. Because I felt so awful about my feelings. Maybe this Christmas I should make her a mitten. I Maybe. With a pretty little card that says, I'm sorry for your hand. I don't think that'd go over well. <laughs> oh. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, it burned! Oh, why the fuck do you have mace? Why the fuck are you in my closet? What are you, protect your tuna collection with that? <laughs> oh, Teddy, Teddy, where are you? Oh my God, John. Oh, she's gonna see that. <laughs> This is my fault. It's a gateway drug! They talk about it on the news! Well, what are we supposed to do? Start with heroin? <laughs> my friend Sarah and I, we grow it in her apartment and we're using the money to help pay for tuition. Well, you, you, you can't work at McDonald's? It's 15K a year, Maddie. I'd have to sell myself at McDonald's. She won't even work and here we are, putting her up out of the goodness of our hearts. And a monthly rent check. You're charging her rent? Oh, she didn't know about that. She's family. Susan? She's Alex. That is messed up. Why would you charge rent for that? Christy! That was the Black Barbie's name. Oh. <laughs> we didn't want you to have to leave. Even if your bed is the size of a pool table. I mean, that's probably about the size of a pool table, right? <laughs> we know you're mad because Dad gave you the boot. But, but that's not why I'm mad. Do you know all the details of why I've been living here? When my own family lives 45 minutes away, I could easily commute to school, but my family is fucked. Yeah, I was wondering why. I, I didn't know if maybe her parents were dead or something. My but dad okay. is a drunk and an asshole. My mom's a psycho lunatic, and my brother's in prison. Jesus, what about your dog? Dead. <laughs> Fuck. I tried so hard to protect Kevin, and I couldn't. Now he's serving 10 years for robbing a Mrs. Fields at gunpoint and possession of crack. Mrs. Fields and crack. It's like, what's the difference, right? <laughs> Please, continue. <laughs> I don't want the same thing to happen to you. That's fair. I'm not mad at you, all right? I'm mad at myself. That's respectable. I never expected you to look out for me like that. Just take care of yourself, all right? Teddy, this whole Blair situation's really shitty. I mean, I never knew she thought of me that way. It's like a little brother. Yeah, 
I guess under all that complaining about racism, there's actually a good person in there. <laughs> Daddy, we gotta do something. I mean, this is our fault. Like, maybe I can talk to Dad. Get him to change his mind. Yeah, good luck. He's never gonna listen. There's gotta be something we can do. Wait a minute. You know what? There is. We are gonna open the box. Dude, this is great. We got seven more episodes or six more after this. Very excited for the rest of it. Someone could be wearing an adult diaper and no one would even know it. What? What? No bulky padding, no unsightly bulges in the trousers. It's amazing. A person, anyone, could be talking to you and I'm relieving assuming, themselves at the same time. I'm assuming that's him. Are you wearing a diaper? No, don't make this weird. <laughs> I'm just saying. The technology has come so far that limits practically don't exist. What limits? <laughs> Jesus, we gotta switch banks. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Hell's in the box. Yep. Sir? I need you to open box 1080. There's a pair of jeans in there. <laughs> the diaper did not work properly. What do you guys want? I want to cut a deal. Back when I was in Hollywood, I almost made a movie with Sly Stallone. Bullshit. No bullshit. He came to me with the project and I said yes. It was going to be about this astronaut cop and this wisecracking bear. I was the bear. And they got to go to space to save Christmas. But then the Challenger exploded, so they had to scrap the project. What a bummer. I know, right? Anyway, Stallone felt really bad about it, so he gave me this. Is it something Rocky related? Oh, was that kind of gross? Rocky's mouth guard. That's, that's nasty. I thought it was gonna be like a watch or something, but. <laughs> You're shitting me. No shit. Holy fucking shit! Now, I will give you this priceless item if you give Blair another chance. Why don't you put it on? Ew. That was in Sylvester Stallone's mouth in 1976. <laughs> See how it feels in yours. Ew. Hmm. I feel him. Okay. Okay, what? So you can stay. Oh, Maddie, you mean it? Yeah. And no reds. Yeah, right? yeah, fine, oh. fine. You know, I think you and Stallone could still make that movie. Oh, God, no way. It was total fucking garbage. I don't want to sound crazy, but I honestly think Paramount blew up the space shuttle so they wouldn't have to make that movie. <laughs> Jesus, that bad, huh? It was that bad. <laughs> oh, my God, man. This is such a... This is I great. I mean, never in a million years did I expect this. Thank you. Uh, we were just trying to make things right. You're not like the rest of the family. You've got a shot. I think of my dad, drunk on his ratty couch, watching Flash Gordon or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, because that's what he ends up being in the movies. Well, that, that's the joke right there, obviously. No more drugs. Yeah. No more drugs. Yeah, they're not going to keep that for long. Besides pot. Besides pot. Besides pot. There's points where I don't even think this is CGI. Like, that just looks like a straight up, like, puppet. But it, it's, I, I, it has to be CGI, right? The movements are too smooth. Hell yeah. That was incredible. All right. Well, of course, we are going to watch the rest of the series. It's pretty much a done deal. I mean, this episode was great. Hilarious. Have not laughed that much. Special guest star Ian McKellen. When was he? Oh, was he the announcer at the beginning of the episode? I don't remember. Um... I, probably the most I've laughed watching an episode of television in a long time. Like, I don't think there's been a comedy, whether it's a movie or a TV series that has made me laugh this much that has released in the past 10 years. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. This is hilarious. And I'm assuming the rest of the episodes are going to be hilarious, too. So we are definitely going to be watching the rest of this. I love even just even just going beyond this, the comedy, just the characters, the dialogue, the story, like everything is really good. It's well made. It has good quality to it. So this is definitely something I will be continuing. And hopefully you guys will enjoy watching the rest of it. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link that will be in the description down below where you can watch the full uncut reaction. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.